let's go ahead and celebrate this Christmas day, the day our Lord and Savior was born into this world with joy to the world, and as you're able, you may rise for this carol. It's number 267.
now pray together our prayer of the day for this Christmas day. Let us pray. All powerful and unseen God, the coming of your light into our world has brightened weary hearts with peace. Call us out of darkness and empower us to proclaim the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for our Bible reading. to the light, so that all might believe through him. 
He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, but or of the world will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth, the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated for our hymn of the day, O Come All Ye Faithful. true 
about our atonement and salvation accomplished by the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. But there's even more to it. Isaiah is the old covenant prophet who declares, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who announces shalom, who brings good news, and who announces salvation, as it says in our first Bible reading today. And John the baptizer is the new covenant prophet who is a witness to testify to the light, as it says in our gospel reading today. And both Isaiah and John the baptizer have important things to say about God's salvation as not only being saved from something, but also as being saved for something, for a purpose in this world. Both Isaiah and John announced that we are simultaneously saved from this fallen and sinful world, and at the same time, we are saved for the sake of this world. For the sake of this world that God so loves that he sent his only begotten son. And Isaiah offers a vision of just what God's salvation will look like in this world. The prophet Isaiah envisions a world changed by the truth and salvation of God. A world metamorphosed by the reign of God. A world of peace and shalom coming forth out of ashes. A world of joy and singing and comfort coming forth out of ruins. A world of God's holy arm, as it says today. God's holy arm, which is Jesus our Lord. He is the victorious right arm of God. A world of God's holy arm outstretched before the eyes of all nations to the ends of the earth, as we hear today. For the light of Christ shines out in the darkness, heralding God's shalom for the sake of our confused and violent and conflicted world. In the first chapter of the Gospel according to St. John the Evangelist, we see John the Baptizer presented to us as a man sent from God and a witness, it says, to testify to the light. And the light, of course, is the Word of God through whom all things were made and nothing was made without him. And this same universal light and word of God became flesh, it says, and lived among us. And as God's eternal light and word in human flesh, he grew up in Nazareth, Israel, and lived among us. And he would one day inaugurate the salvation that we hear about in Isaiah 52. And it is this great salvation and mission received through God's living light and word, Jesus, that John the baptizer was sent to witness to. And the word witness, by the way, in Greek is martyria. Martyria. If that sounds familiar, it's where we get our word martyr. Martyr literally means witness. And witnesses say what they have heard and seen or attest to the truth of another's testimony. So John's role was to recognize the true light that has come into the world and to draw attention to it, to draw the attention of multitudes of people to the living light of God, a light that the darkness has not overcome, although the darkness tried very hard to overcome him. John's role was to call attention to this light so that others might recognize this light and follow him. And this salvation and mission that Isaiah proclaims, that John the baptizer witnesses to, and that Jesus revealed in himself is the salvation and mission, brothers and sisters, that God calls us to share and to follow John was not the light, 
but he came to testify to the light. And so we too are to testify. We too are to witness. So faith in Christ may be personal, but listen to this. It's never ever private. Faith in Christ is indeed personal to us all, but our faith in Christ is not private. We are Christ's public witnesses. We are his martyria, called to openly and joyfully and continually, as long as we live in this world, to invite, welcome, and include everyone in Jesus' name. Today, brothers and sisters, we are reminded to bear witness to everyone we can, friends, family, co-workers, neighbors, and even acquaintances, that there is indeed a universal light and truth. And that universal light and truth conquers all darkness. Even the darkest spiritual forces are not able to overcome him. Like modern day John the baptizers, we are men and women sent from God as witnesses to testify to God's living light in our daily lives so that all might come to know his grace and salvation. The grace and salvation of the light of Christ that illumines the heart of all people. In Jesus' name, amen. As you are able, you may rise. In response to the good news of Jesus Christ that we've heard on this Christmas day, we will confess our Christian faith using the words of the Nicene Creed as it's printed in your bulletin. What do we believe? We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated for the prayers of the church. with the heavenly hosts and Christians throughout time and space, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. Your spirit calls your church to rejoice in Christ's birth. As we gather at the manger, help us see your face and all babies needing comfort and care. Equip the church in the nurture and encouragement of all children. Merciful God, receive our prayer. The rocks and streams proclaim your praise. Attune us to the vibrant sounds and vital groanings of your creation. Stir us to tend the earth wisely, that the whole earth may dwell in abundance and peace. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Your messengers declare your joy to the world. Embolden leaders and nations to make your justice and peace known throughout the earth. Uphold peacemakers and peace. 
peacekeepers who risk their safety to help others. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We pray for your blessings upon all our partners in mission, Bailey Human Care Center, Food and Clothing Ministry, Door of Hope Ministry for Homeless Families, Fred Door Missions for the Homeless, Walter Homely Holding Home Women's Shelter Ministry, Linda Balthorn of Wycliffe Bible Translators and the Holy People, Pastor Jack and the DRIM Korean Presbyterian Church, our Willoughby Preschool, our Scout Pack Number 307, the LA County Beekeepers, Bishop Brenda and our Southwest California Synod, the Presiding Bishop Elizabeth, and our Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You choose those regarded as lowly to tell the good news of your love revealed in Jesus Christ. Pour out your mercy and care on all who are sick, grieving, struggling, and the elderly who live alone. Especially Brandon, Shannon, Chris, Secret, Elsie, John, Bruce, Brenda, Alex, Elila, and Audrey, Secret, Chad, Penny, Carl, Carrie, the family of Kevin Lee, Sandy, Ruth, Lori, Chuck, Lynette, Sam, Jane, Dwayne, Ellen, the family and friends of Anita Stoker, Lynn, Margaret, Robert, the family and friends of Larry Wright, Kyla and Jacob, all our men and women in military service and law enforcement, our governing authorities and veterans, all of our fellow congregation members who are not able to join us in worship, and all of our family members and friends who are upon our hearts. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You abide with your people in times of trouble. Accompany families and children who have nowhere to turn. Strengthen this congregation and local ministries in the care of those fleeing danger, abuse, or neglect. Merciful God, Receive our prayer. Your grace and mercy extend to all. Give comfort to those who mourn and assure them of the everlasting peace you have granted those who have gone before us. Merciful God, Receive our prayer. Rejoicing in your word made flesh, we commend these prayers to you. Confident of your grace and love made known to us in Jesus Christ our Savior, Amen. Before we share communion this morning, uh, I want to remind you that the way we're doing communion is continuous flow. I'll be standing over here near the piano uh, offering the bread of the host. And then Hillary will be over here with the trays of the juice and wine and cups. Remember, the juice is in the center ring of the tray and the wine is in the outer ring. So you have a choice between uh, juice and wine. And then these are disposable plastic cups. So after you receive the wine or the juice, just throw it in this trash receptacle over here in front of, of the front pew. As you are able, you may rise. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. Do this for the remembrance of me. For as often
often as we eat this bread of life and drink this cup of salvation, we proclaim the Lord's sacrificial death until he comes. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We'll now pray together our offertory prayer. Gracious God, your word made flesh brings harmony to the earth. As we offer ourselves and these your gifts, prepare us to receive the grace and truth you offer at this holy table. And renew in us the song of your salvation. In Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray daily the prayer that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. you are able to rise. Now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace and peace forever and ever. Amen.
us bread for the journey. Send us out in service to this world that you love, telling the amazing news of your coming to be Savior and Lord of all. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our sending him for this Christmas morning is Hark the Herald Angels Sing.